Hey, what up, dudes? Welcome back. Good to see you guys. We're here for another video. Yeah, I say it a lot, don't I? That's like the intro every time I do this. Hey, should I be turning on or off the moving camera thing? Does that look weird to you guys during the, the cuts and all that stuff? I feel like with the camera moving, it's a little weird with all the cuts. How about for this video, I just lock it off here and we just go with it. Hey, so this video is going to be all about teaching you guys something kind of cool and something you might want given our certain situation in uh, our current time and uh, events and all that stuff with COVID and you know, all the, there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people are doing Zoom calls these days. I wanted to give you guys a little something for Zoom that you might be able to uh, bring in from your streaming. I think a lot of people are coming in uh, and using this program to like connect with their other people, their friends, their coworkers or maybe their jobs or whatnot. So I'm here to teach you guys something today that you could use in your own Zoom calls. And maybe if you're a broadcaster, you can kind of bring things over from your broadcasting side of things. And that's a thing called OBS Virtual Cameras. It's a plugin for OBS. I'm going to show you exactly what it does. And it's kind of cool. I'm going to make it super simple. I'm going to show you guys exactly what it does, where to get it, how to install it. And that's it. it, it, it stick around. It, it's kind of cool. If you use Zoom, you might be into this. So over here on my desktop, uh, sidebar, a lot of people have asked me like what this like wallpaper stuff is that I use. And it's this thing called wallpaper engine. It's over on steam. I think it's like $4. Yeah. $4, $3.99. And basically you can get yourself some animated wallpapers. Uh, this thing can kind of walk you through it if you really wanted to, but you can see you can download a bunch of animated wallpapers and whatnot. And so I've done that, you know, all my wallpapers are sitting in here so I can scroll through and select things. You know, I'm usually playing rainbow six siege. So, Maybe I could bring up the old Rainbow Six Siege logo. But for this video, I'm just going to leave it like that. But I wanted to let you guys know Wallpaper Engine on Steam. $4. It's a great, it's a great purchase. So I wanted to tell you guys about uh, one of the many beautiful plugins on the internet for open broadcaster software. And that is this thing right here called OBS Virtual Cam. Now it's been modified recently to adhere to the new OBS version. So make sure you get the right version. I'll put this link down below, but in a nutshell, OBS Virtual Cam will allow you to put everything you do in OBS into another program, like your Google Hangouts, like your Zoom calls, like your Messenger calls, all that stuff. Anything that you can select your camera on your computer to interact with the video chat feature, this can work for you. So you could do it over Discord or whatever you're using. You can put your OBS inside of it with this plugin. It's a very simple setup right here. I'm going to go ahead and full screen this. If you want to bypass just reading it, you just go ahead and click on this link right here and it'll bring you to a new page where you can download the installer. Now you can do it two different ways. You can get the zip file and manually put all the files where you need them to go, or you can just download the installer and you just click install and it'll automatically put everything where it needs to be and you don't have to worry about anything i recommend get yourself the installer the exe version download it and just run the install process if i were to do it i i would reinstall it to my obs and i don't want to do it twice you get it so i've installed it to my obs now i'm going to open up obs so here's my instance of obs and uh, i have the the plugin installed now granted right off the bat you're not going to notice anything different i'll walk you through exactly what to do here and i even have myself uh, a little zoom over here so we can bring this up and I can I can walk you through how it works. Inside of OBS, I developed the scene here. I go ahead and uh, I'm going to put on a little camera action here. And uh, I got my display capture and a game capture or uh, my Elgato sitting down here. Hey, you like the, the sepia? To, I don't know. I, I got this lens. I, it was a, a whole nother video describing this lens on this little camera here. It doesn't matter. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make another scene. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to make another scene here. We're going to leave it as scene two. I'm going to add some sources here. Uh, we have our, we have our display capture. We have our camera and all that stuff. Now I want, this is my, my normal stream setup. Maybe I want to put that into my, my Skype call or, or my zoom call. So I'm going to go ahead and lock all my sources here just to make sure I'm not doing anything weird. Although let's set up our scene a little bit. So it looks a little something like a normal setup. So maybe I would put my cam right here. Maybe that's looking pretty good. It's kind of mimicking what we got going over on the side. And, uh, I'll leave this over here and just that's looking pretty good for now. So I'm going to go back to my main scene here. And what you want to do, very, very easy. And it's a really cool, effective tool. And I ended up using it in my own, my own calls. You go up to tools and you go down to virtual cam. Now, when you open up virtual cam, you're going to get this little window. What does that window do? Well, let me tell you all about it. You get a couple options here. One, you get an auto start, a horizontal flip, keep aspect ratio. You get this thing with a bunch of different cameras on here. I don't really, you don't really know what those are yet. Uh, and then you got some buffered frames. 
So uh, with that said, I need the program that I'm going to use for my video call. So over here, I got myself my Zoom. I'm going to go ahead and open up my settings. So I'm going to go into my settings. I'm going to go over to my video tab. And inside my video tab, you'll be able to see this is normally where you would select your camera. What you want to do is you want to go look at this drop down menu of all your available devices. Now, normally this would be where your webcam is or maybe where your capture card is. But and now that we have this enabled, I'm going to be able to hit the start button. And now that I'm hitting the start button, I'm I'm virtualizing my OBS up here into a camera it, uh, that my computer is going to recognize as a camera. So if I come over here and I select OBS camera, it's going to immediately put myself over there. And now that's very normal. It looks like maybe I just set my webcam over there. But if I switch over to my other scene here, now you can see what it's really doing. And it's it's emulating my OBS inside of zoom which is pretty cool so if i take my webcam i can move it around and you can see it's also being affected over here so if i move this out of the way and maybe i want to move my camera over here on the top right so maybe that's looking pretty good maybe i want to make it a little bit bigger maybe cut out some of my my screen there you know maybe that's looking pretty good you can see exactly what you can do with this tool which is pretty cool so you can maybe make your your zoom calls a little more exciting for whoever's watching uh, your your situation you know maybe every now and then you want to put in some text or maybe you just want to keep your camera kind of small and maybe you're you're broadcasting to your family members and you just want to play a little bit of a maybe a little bit of last of us too so you know i start broadcasting the last of us too and here we go i'm i'm already on my horse the beginning of the game if you haven't played the last of us too it's a great game go check it out if you guys ever get a chance it's a, it's a phenomenal situation to be in but anyway so i can actually sit here and play and if i wanted to you know i can i go ahead and move my cam just in case my my sister or my brother was getting a little upset, make it super tiny, maybe put it on the horse right there in the middle. You know, that's it. So they're getting the same update over here that I'm changing on the fly. So which is a pretty cool feature to allow my Zoom call to be broadcasted. However, my OBS is set up, which is a wonderful feature. So let's say I put a little I put a little uh, Luma wipe on here as a as a transition, which is available in the in the software itself. If you ever want to have a cool transition, I put a little thing in there. So now when I switch scenes, you get this nice little fade back into my my setup. So what my viewers on Zoom are seeing is me being able to sit here and change scenes and maybe go right back into playing The Last of Us here. And it's looking pretty good. And I'm, I'm having a good time, but I want to go back. They want to talk to me. So I switch back to this scene and we're talking again. You know what I mean? So pretty cool to be able to have this feature on hand to allow you guys to inject your OBS into your Zoom call. And maybe want to add a little bit more. So maybe I take my uh, my thing here. Maybe I'll add some uh, some text. Let's go ahead and call this like that. We're going to say, hey, welcome to my Zoom call. You know, maybe I'll select a color make it a little uh, red right there. And maybe I'll add a little background to it. And that's looking pretty good. So you know what? This is looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. And, uh, you know, now here's Here's my Zoom call. What? Hey, welcome to the Zoom call. <laughs> very, very easy to, you know, put in the features that you want on the fly. And, you know, maybe you put a little, a couple other things. I don't know, man. It, the, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want, man. I just want to let you know that this is something that you can do. So it's a really cool, simple program that you guys can install into your OBS. It's a simple plugin, less than a megabyte in size. And it has so much functionality to it to allow you to put a little flare into your zoom call you know maybe you got a spare camera and maybe that camera is looking at your cat so maybe you have two cameras you get a little camera on you you get a little camera on your cat and everybody gets to watch your cat while you're on your zoom call doing your business stuff you know what i'm saying so take this however you want man i'll post the links down below i've been trying to make videos on youtube for a while now so if this helped you out maybe give it a little thumbs up it's just something i wanted to bring to your attention and maybe you can think of other uses for it so anywhere that you can select a camera on your computer that has your OBS on it, as long as you have that virtual camera plugged in in the plugins on your OBS, you, you're good to go. So that's the end of this video. I know I'm streaming on Twitch Monday through Friday, minus Wednesdays because I'm working on the, these videos and whatnot. But come by if you want. I'm, I'm streaming through 11 a.m. to, I don't know, 5 p.m. It, I, it changes a little bit, dude. Every day, it's always different. Appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe if you want. It would help me out. Leave a comment down below if you want to, like, you know, talk about a game or maybe have a question. You just want to tell me about your dinner. If there's never anything you guys want me to, to make a video on. Just comment down below, man. Maybe I can make something for you. Hopefully, it'll help you. Whatever you want, man. You make the call. St tune in for more content coming up in the future. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.